Hello guys, very very good morning. Welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all the computer exams. So today I am going to teach you about count to infinity problem. So most of you might have seen this in the distance vector routing technique. Okay, so that is a problem faced in the distance vector routing. Okay, there are different routing techniques in the adaptive methodologies. So uh, count to infinity is a problem that is faced in the distance vector routing while exchanging the routing information okay sometimes it may lead to uh, count to infinity problem so now let us discuss that before that uh, let me introduce myself myself from murali krishna bokka samudram i am having 21 plus years of teaching experience both in the gate and also i worked in different engineering colleges and i am topper of different uh, nptel courses and also i am certified as international engineering educator through igip certification program and i have mentored more than 50000 students across the country in different core areas like theory of computation operating systems computer organization computer networks digital logic and ict and also uh, this uh, cloud computing okay these are uh, my areas of expertise and let us uh, move on to the next and this is about my brief profile and there is a free workshop uh, related to the gate so this uh, topic is seven golden rules to secure single digit rank in the gate so by our expert faculty abhinav negi sir uh, he is uh, mtech from iit delhi he is having 10 plus years of teaching experience and he will be live on uh, uh, 7:30 today 7:30 pm so please try to register for this workshop and try to make use of this and these are some of our toppers of 2023 gate so we got uh, 62 students uh, who got under all india rank 50 and 13 students under all india rank 10 and 107 students and all India rank 100. And these are some of our toppers uh, in computer science, uh, P and I, and also instrumentation and electrical. So big congratulations to all these toppers, and uh, wish you all the best for uh, 2024 gate aspirants and also 2025 aspirants, and for Nile 2023. Wish you all the best. And let's uh, move on to this. So basically, uh, today's topic is uh, about uh, uh, identifying how the infinity problem exists okay in a distance vector routing so please uh, be in the session till the end and also do subscribe the channel share with your friends i hope uh, i am audible and visible to everyone of you and uh, you can just uh, do one thing you can just uh, press the bell button for uh, getting the notifications related to this after the subscription and also do like the session share with your friends okay you will get an advantage of uh, accessing to the free classes uh, when you just subscribe it now let's see a uh, count to infinity problem different examples let's see let us suppose uh, we are taking a five node linear network where the delay metric is the number of hops okay so we are having there are five nodes a b c d and e so these five nodes the delay metric is number of hops means let us suppose a and b are adjacent so within one hop i can reach from a to b and within one half, I can reach from B to C, C to D one half, and D to E one half. That means if you wanted to go from A to E, how many hops are required? One, two, three, four. That means A can reach to E, the node A can reach to E within four hops. Okay. So hop is nothing but it is a jump from one node to the neighboring node. Okay. So usually in a distance vector, neighbor's information we are going to obtain, right? So when you are exchanging the information from the neighbors, okay. So let us suppose A wanted to go to C, how his neighbor B will go to C, it will check. Let us suppose if C wanted to go to A, C is having two neighbors, B and D, how B will go to A and how D will go to A, it will inspect and what is the best number of hops that will be taken. If a hops is the measurement here and sometimes the cost is also uh, this thing. So I am taking second example as a uh, hops count okay just uh, in briefing uh, this uh, example uh, within 10 to 15 minutes of time so while you're having coffee you can understand this uh, concept okay so now let us suppose initially i am just taking the distance to a from every node okay our target is reaching to a please remember so a to a what is the distance self node that means it is a zero and if b wanted to reach to a initially Nobody knows uh, where is the A exists so that B to A is infinity, C to A is infinity, D to A is infinity, E to A is infinity. Unless we know 
some information from any of the neighbor okay so now at this point of time the node b came to know that a is a neighbor because it is usually sending some testing packets like eco packets okay so when b sends an eco packet to a and b understands that a is a immediate neighbor of b then what happens it will exchange after first exchange so b will update in its routing table the distance from b to a is one hop and c to a still infinity d to a still infinity e to a still infinity now in the next exchange actually c is having two neighbors right so we are having infinity here and d says that i can reach in infinity and b says i can reach in one hop so that c to b is one hop and b to a is one hop so 1 plus 1 2 is updated if you go via d c to d is 1 and d to a is having infinity so 1 plus infinity infinity so minimum of infinity and 2 is 2 so 2 is updated after the second exchange now when the turn has come for d d is having two neighbors c and e okay if it goes to a via c 1 plus 2 it is already saying that c to a is 2 and d to c is 1 so 1 plus 2 is a three hops and it is infinity plus 1 it is a infinity only so we can take next hop is like this so d is having uh, three hops to the a this is after third exchange so now e still e is having infinity okay so d to a has uh, three now and e to d is one so it can update by exchanging from d so within four exchanges everybody understood that a is available when a is ready then b has exchanged and uh, e has updated its as one and c updated its as two and d as three and e as four so within four exchanges every router understood there is a a and how to reach to a exact number of hops okay so this is the normal goes so this is called good news propagates very fast okay so here what is the good news when a is ready a is up okay b came to know that it is a neighbor and uh, in the testing packet it understand it is one and it has been propagated like this now if any problem has occurred so bad news bad news means if a is down that is a bad news that propagates to infinity it is like this now let us consider the situation in which all the links and the routers are initially up and uh, we are having 1 2 3 4 a to a 0 b to a 1 in the number of hops c to a 2 d to a 3 and e to a 4 okay now at this point of time if a is down and a link from a to a has been disconnected so routers b c d and h distances to a as 1 2 3 4 coast respectively and suddenly either a goes down or the link between a and b is cut either of thing is happened for example now as the entire topology is not known like a link state routing okay so what uh, we do in a distance vector is only rely on the neighbors if a is unable to reach maybe b will try via c can i go or not because the topology structure is not known to the every node how the nodes are there how many links are there it is not known only neighbors are known and exchange information from neighbors okay so that now if b wanted to update its routing table it has to rely on c because c is the only neighbor to the b c says i can go in two hops then if you go via c b to c is one and c to a is two of course it has to go via b only c is updation but it is not known right okay that's why so it will update it as three this is after first exchange okay so now c is having a value of 2 to the node a but both the neighbors so b is saying i can reach in three hops d also says i can reach in three hops c has to rely on the both neighbors okay now if you go via b or via d to a so 3 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 only so c is not having any other link directly to the a so this 2 is outdated it understands that 2 is outdated so either y or b should go or y or d so both are saying it is 3 so next exchange it will become 4 understood so like this if you continue now let us suppose next time b is having 3 and the neighbor is reaching in 4 how it can reach in 3 because to reach neighbor the only neighbor is c to reach neighbor it will be one half and c to a is 3 so then 3 uh, c to a is 4 then obviously it will become 5 now if a c turn has come now c will update it as 6 because both the neighbors are reaching in 5 it will be 6 it is after fourth exchange like that it will go to infinity count that is what count to infinity problem so this is a faced only in the distance vector routing okay in a distance vector routing initially 
every node will keep an infinity as entity to the distance uh, other nodes and uh, after exchanging information it will update after all the infinities are being removed so that means uh, the routing tables will get stabilized what do you mean by stabilized routing table stabilized routing table means the routing table is containing a shortest distance from any node to all other nodes that is called a stabilized routing table hope you understood okay so this is the count to infinity problem and there is a solution also for this that is called uh, the solution is called hack problem okay so there is a hacking split horizon hacking you can see this solution is preventing routers from advertising their best pass back to the neighbors from which they heard okay with the split horizon with the poison reverse we can solve that so i will just uh, tell you what is the split horizon so generally if you go through this uh, particular uh, example okay now let us suppose i am taking this how b understands initially let us suppose if you consider this one okay just a moment i will just tell you if you consider this example so we are having different uh, nodes and uh, different links and the measurement or metric what you have taken here is number of hops okay so number of hops it is like this so initially infinity 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 and b has updated first as 1 and c has updated as 2 then 3 then 4 right now when it comes to information available at c from where the information the c has obtained from b only right now when it comes to the next exchange when a is down you see this a is down and c got this information from b only as a two as a number of hops okay now b is taking from c again this type of reversing uh, should be avoided we have to split this total uh, into two halves and so that the same information uh, whatever heard from the same node uh, cannot be taken back so if we can avoid this one we can avoid the looping problem so that is what is uh, called a split horizon hack so that is what mentioned here preventing the routers from advertising their best paths back to the neighbors from which they heard them with the split horizon with the poison reverse so uh, it limit of uh, size of the network by setting above the hop limit count and you can send full uh, path information in a routing advertisement full path information so it performs explicit queries for the loops so that uh, we can avoid that uh, looping problem i hope uh, everybody understood thank you so much thank you one and all please do subscribe the channel and share with your friends please do like this session thank you so much have a good day see you all